Hello, my name is Pierre Harry, and I'm a product specialist with Aviva Select California. In this video, I will be giving you guys a sneak peek into one of the new Historian features that will be released with Historian 2023, which is the ability of the Historian to replicate to OSI Pi as a Tier 2 Historian. Keep in mind that this feature is currently in the beta stage of testing. As a result, while the process shown in this video will be very similar to the final version of the release, there may be some minor differences. The replication process from the historian to OSI Pi follows a similar workflow to the replication process from the historian to Viva Insight or Tier 2 Historian. It begins by opening up the SMC and expanding your historian configuration tree until you reach the replication editor. Right click on replication servers and add a new replication server. In the replication environment, Select Aviva Pi server and then enter your OSI Pi node name inside of the node name cell. Also, enter your Pi Web API login credentials as well. Click on Next and then click on Finish. At this point, your Pi replication server will have been created and will populate under your replication service folder. The next step involves selecting the tags from the historian that you want to pass into your Pi environment. Just as if you were replicating to Insight or Tier 2 historian, this can either be done on a single tag basis or multiple tag basis. Right now, we're doing it on a multiple tag basis, and I'm searching for two sets of tags that are using two different keywords, as you can see right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all these tags and then click on OK. This replication process allows you to edit the destination tag names, giving you control over whether or not you want them to be displayed in Pi the same way they are displayed in the historian. We are going to edit one of our destination tag names here and apply the changes. So now you can review the tags that will be replicated and how the historian tag names will correspond to the Pi tag names. When you are happy with it, right click on the Pi replication server and select commit pending changes. Once the changes are committed, you will see a status message indicating if it was successful or not. So now we can hop over to our Pi environment and search for the tags in Pi Vision. You can search for the replicated tags by keyword inside of the asset framework. The Pi asset framework conveniently organizes the asset attributes for you. As you can see, each attribute in this list corresponds to a tag that was replicated from the historian. We can select the temperature attribute and drag it onto the screen, confirming that the tag values are being successfully passed into Pi from the historian. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.